What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are working on the pocket bike again. I got the better carburetor, the smaller one. This is a 1313 and this is a 712 carburetor. So it should work a little bit better. This was on my old Chao. It ran about 30 kilometers an hour on a 50cc. This is a much smaller engine, so it should work a little bit better. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to connect the throttle cable. I don't know how it looks inside of here, how the whole cable is connected, but I can attach the cable to this carburetor and then just figure out a way to make the throttle work. We can do it, it's not gonna be a big deal, hopefully. I always think that when I do projects like this, but yeah, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. So let's just jump into it and see where it takes us. So what I first want to see is how this is connected to the throttle cable. Now the throttle cable is disconnected right here. Let's open up this and see what's going on inside there. And strangely enough, it is a custom made cable. I was not expecting that. That means the cable is made to fit on there. But I'm gonna see if I can make this fit. Now it looks too short to make it fit. That is gonna be way too short. So I'm gonna have to work on a better plan. But for now, let's take this cable out of here. Now there's no way for me to shorten this cable. It is a custom made cable. So yeah, we're gonna have to figure something else out. So here I got the old cable from my chow and this should work on the carburetor. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take off the old carburetor and put on the new one. And here is the old one. Now let's just connect the new troll cable to this carp. I'm gonna have to adjust this, grind this a little bit down. Let's see if we have better fitment, yes. And now we have throttle. Now let's install this carp. Well, it sits on good enough. Now let's get the air filter on here. Fuel line. Okay, that should be good. Now before I wanna do all the work of connecting the trowel cable and all that stuff, I just wanna make sure it runs. Put in some gas. Yeah, that should be good. Check for leaks anywhere. It also looks good. I'm gonna put on my gloves because I don't want to hurt my hand again. And let's try starting it. Let's give it a little bit of throttle. Almost. Quarter turn. Okay, so we know that the bike runs with the carp. It doesn't run good. If I give it throttle, it dies. But I have some theory about that. But first I'm gonna have to connect the gas cable. So I already did some work. I shortened this cable, put the lever back on, and now we are ready to connect this again. Now, there's not like a, a connection point on this. So I'm gonna use something like this and make it all work again. Now this is gonna be a pain in the butt, a lot of trying, error, making it back loose again, readjusting it and doing all that stuff. So I'm not gonna film it, I'm just gonna make the throttle work and then we'll go from there. So the throttle is connected, as you can see, hopefully 
yes it moves up and down but what you may notice this is not the smaller carb this is the 13 mil carburetor back on there the old one is right here for some odd reason the smaller carb doesn't work as well if i give it throttle it just dies but with the 13 mil it revs up really high and it sounds pretty good now i checked the old carburetor and as you can see it's a bigger hole and when we compare it to the smaller carb yeah that is a small little hole but i don't want to keep the 13 mil carburetor on here because that is for the chow with the 65 cc at home i still have a 12 millimeter carburetor that i have to clean and then we can put it on there so that is what i'm gonna do another day but for now it works i don't know if the bike has power or not but that is what i'm gonna test i pumped up the tires with like 35 psi the max load is 40 hopefully they are keeping air i know that i changed this tire to a tubeless tire but this is still with a tube so maybe this is leaking but maybe we can fix that in another video what i'm now gonna do as you can see the fuel line is on the engine i'm gonna just zip tie it right here get it out of the way uh, install the choke and the air filter and put on the seat and maybe take it for a ride so i'm just gonna put two zip ties right here now i have to take the old choke out of the smaller carp just undo this take the tension off the screw and here is the choke so now let's reinstall this if we need choke it's there we have choke let's see if it's still disengaged yeah perfect now let's put on our malossi air filter Ooh, look at that tire clearance that's pretty close now let's put the seat back on now let's start it one more time Okay, it runs decent, it looks decent, maybe a little bit concerned about this gap, but yeah, pretty nice. Now let's take it for a spin. Oh, well, I'm going to try to take it for a spin, see how it goes. Okay, this is going to be awkward as hell, because there's no foot pegs. Ugh. Let's just try it. If you ever want to see a fat man on a small bike, this is the time. Travel response. Let's try left turn. My knees are hitting the steering wheel. The handlebars. So the brakes work it's a little bit safer to ride now now of course i'm gonna do some other stuff to this bike this is not the end but it's running it's riding it's braking 
it's doing everything that it has to do to be a bike. What I still need to do is take off the 13 mil carb and replace it with a 12 millimeter carb, but I still have to clean it. So I'm gonna make a separate video on that because it's a chow carburetor and I want to make a separate video for that. So that is what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna film putting on the new car because it's the same damn video as now. I'm gonna end the video here, but I'm still gonna do some stuff on it, get some measurements for the stuff that I want to do, that I want to improve, clean some parts up. It's all like basic stuff. Clean and service this starter, maybe take out the clutch, see how that is going, improve it, and yeah. <sighs> I'm pretty happy that the bike runs, it rides, and yeah, there's still a lot of improvements that I'm gonna do, make it better, make it look good, and make it run even better. So that is gonna be it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. And if you're not already subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel, I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one.